Seeing supermodels, beauty queens, famous celebrities on social media platforms in my late 30s are entertaining and surely lifts my spirit. How they dressed and show confidence carrying themselves are very impressive. Yet, since I have realized early and have accepted that is not what I am built for and meant to be, I do not wish to be in those affairs. I'm not going to lie though, when I was young, being petite made me insecure due to being picked on by others and being pushed in front of the line triggering this insecurity. The comparison of strangers and highlighting of ones I have developed relationships with made it worse. Yet, those experiences did not totally ruin me growing up. In return, it actually helped clear my path and honed my personality and values into adulthood and brought emphasis to valuing and improving my strengths and skills. I thought this weakness can linger in my mind and haunt me forever, but I'm wrong. Because I found one major way to bury my insecurities under the ground and even being dug and reminded I can still hold my chin up high and look at the prior side of life. You know what it is? Being yourself, living your truth. If I am tall, it could be a replacement of me not being sharp and other assets I was given or I could be in a wrong occupation that does not bring peace and joy. I do not know about you but I do believe that there is no one in this world who got it all. Some of you can maybe relate with me. I'd like to tell you that you are an original. No one is exactly like you. Focus on your power and not your shortcomings and flaws. At the end of the day, no one matters but you. You leave this earth alone. Why not curate a triumphant exit? If your height contributes to your life in many positive ways, I think you have to make the most of it. Many beautiful women have helped their families and contributed to society 
with their looks and great personalities. There is clearly nothing wrong with using beauty and stature to enhance life. What makes you most special is your heart. Be kind yet be brave. Yours, Liz. Thank you.